Hello and welcome to episode four of the Eurovision Games. As a reminder, I'm Tom. I'm Luke. And this guy is Mr. Rob Lilly. Hello, Rob. Hello, everybody. Episode three. What can we say, Phoebe? I am delighted to have drawn with a mastermind contest. Now, I mean, I didn't really fancy my chances before we started that episode, but things have gone very, very well, I think, anyway. I think so. I'm not really delighted. I was kind of hoping she would have beaten you. I was so sure that she was going to beat you. She had, didn't she have one minute and a half? Oh, she had so much more time than me in the end game, but somehow... I think it's more down to do with her than than me. I think I was just quicker. I was quicker fire. Like if I didn't know, I just passed straight away. That's the thing. I think after over three episodes, you've kind of tailored yourself to know when to pass. If you don't know a question, you pass. And if you've listened to me so far on the first three episodes, you'll know that I pass a lot for a man who for a, ma- for a man who declares himself, you know, the world's biggest Eurovision fan. Turns out there's quite a lot of stuff I don't know. That's the thing. I was going to say this to you. I expect you in the game a bit more this time, Rob. Mm. I expect more correct answers. Pressure's on. Like, you've got to pull it back. The pressure might be on, but I think I'm up to the challenge. I think, like we've said, three episodes in, halfway through the series, I'm in the right place now. I'm I'm mentally ready. I know what to expect. This is going to be it. It's going to be three wins from the remaining three shows. And the leaderboard looks amazing. Two all. Two to you, two to the super fan. It is, uh, what's it, what's the saying? It's, uh, it's on a knife edge. It is on a knife edge. So do you want to meet today's contestants? I think you know the answer. Today's loser, I think we'll be referring oh to the man. Oh, he's still cocky. Still cocky. Right. Today's contestant is a guy called Matt Baker. He's 27 from Ashford in Kent. He's been a mega fan of the Eurovision Song Contest since he first saw it in 2006. And he says ever since he heard Lordy that year, he was hooked and he's never missed the Melody Festival and Grand Final every year. He always supports Netherlands. He thinks they're really original and he orders takeaways to watch the semi-finals and the final. This guy, it's Matt Baker. Hello, Matt. How are you? I'm doing good. Uh, we just come back from a holiday in Plymouth, so I'm ready to get down to business. What do you get up to? What do you? How long are we there for? Are we there for a week? I was I was there I was there for a week. Yeah, I went to uh, Top Nest and did an axe throwing in Truro. Oh wow! Axe throwing, hello. Mm. Axe throwing, yeah. How was that? It was so so fun. It's a good way to get rid of the anger. Yeah, I mean, I understand that. I did axe throwing in Nashville last year. It was so satisfying. And did you hit, hit, hit the target? Yes, actually, I I picked up the trick. I'm a fairly decent axe thrower. I like to think. <laughs> <laughs> None of this is anything that I expected to be discussed on this episode, but uh, I can honestly say I've never been axe throwing, but I am now a little intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you thinking of when you were throwing the axe, Matt? Were you thinking of Rob, oh, thinking I'm going to beat him? A little bit. Some some other things made me really angry as well. So <laughs> <laughs> Let's get off the axe throwing and talk about Eurovision. Tell me how you got into Eurovision. Oh, um... <laughs> It's actually quite a nice story, actually. Um, I was having a Chinese takeaway with my family, and it was, it was on the screen. I think it was coming up to um, Latvia's um, I Hear Your Heart, that acapella one. Yeah. I was, like, taken aback with it. I'm like, this is, like, the most amazing thing on television, and it just blossomed from there, really. So that, that the Latvia song that year as well, for people that don't remember, that was the, the little robot as well, wasn't it, that they made up on the stage? That was very fun. It was. That's so, what's the song about Eurovision? It's like, what's going on here? <laughs> and, wow, they've really got some good gimmicks this year. Uh, I'm going to also, sorry, Tom, I know you wanted to uh, focus on the Eurovision here, but I have to ask... But- what was what was in the Chinese that night? Can you remember? <laughs> I, pre- I appreciate it was fourteen years ago, but can you remember? Was there a, a chicken and chicken and prawn ball or some crackers? What what was going on? I think I remember it was it was chicken chow mein, oh. some, some vegetable spring rolls, nice, and uh, egg fried rice. I remember it very vividly. Very good. That's I mean, what a night! What so a night! Now. But also, I don't think you've taken us off context, Rob, because. There, there, there seems to be a history, Matt, with you and eating takeaways whilst watching Eurovision. Yes. Sir. Do you yes, always yes, get takeaways? And is it always the same takeaway? <laughs> it, it's become a tradition, actually. So I, I get a nice big Chinese every grand final and just, and just watch it. I think last year I had a good Singapore uh, rice noodles, oh. egg fried rice, prawn toast, big bottle of fizzy drink. Do we mix it up a bit for the semi-finals? Do we get a different takeaway? Do we get like a tie for semi one, or how does it work? <laughs> probably, probably chippy for semi-final one and two. 
Oh, I like, do like a chippy. Double chippy in a week, though. <laughs> this is a man of extravagance. Oh, yeah, it's, still, it's come out really like a tradition, really. So, Matt, we've heard about why you always support the Netherlands. Do you have yeah. a particular favourite from the Netherlands over the years? Uh, oh, my God. There are so there are so many favourites from the Netherlands. Um, I'd say my favourite one is back in 1998. I was looking through YouTube for like all the old songs. And it was a it's a new rumble, Hemel and our day, and it was like without doubt the best song I've ever seen. It was mind blowing. I think her song from two thousand and seven that was an absolute robbery that that didn't do better than it did as well. Oh, I know, but I was sort of it's sort of like a bit bit more punk, and we've we'll, we'll gotten there. Tell us a bit about your radio program that you do about Eurovision every year. Oh, I do. It is it is like the best thing ever. I'm like. Back when I, where I live, there's a, there's a little radio show that I do Friday evenings on, and every year, like the week before the grand final, I put on like classic UK hit songs that I think would do well. And what I really think of the songs, honestly, is about that the best thing you can ever listen to. You've said classic UK hits. What's your go-to one UK hit to take with you on the radio show? What is it? Oh, I'd say I'd say. Um, uh, Lily, boom, bang, and bang. Oh, very mm. good. So you are obviously a Eurovision expert. You are obviously a Eurovision super fan, Matt. The question is, you've listened to the Eurovision games before. Do you think you can beat Rob this episode? Hopefully, but I'll give him up my best shot and see, what, see how I do. It is currently 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two to Rob, 2 to the super fans. So oh, no. it would be great to get another point in the super fans' courts. You both get 60 seconds for the end game. For each round you win, you get an extra 10 seconds. So that's a possible 90 seconds that one of you could have. But if one of you had 90 seconds, the other would have 60. Although, as we heard in episode three, I can lose every round and I can still come away with at least a point for, for a draw. So I'm, I'm confident. Good. <sighs> so are you prepared? Are you ready to take on Rob? The best, the best I can, yes. Great, let's get it started. Welcome to the Eurovision Games. So, Luke, what is round one? Right, boys, round one is in the shower with Luke. Hey! Yes, it is a listener's favourite. We did it. We did a vote recently and this came out tops, Luke. What, what, what do you think to that? I feel super famous. <laughs> do you know what? I, I sent forward a list of demands for our recording session this time and none of them were met. So I'm very, very disappointed. I don't think you're in any place to, to have a rider for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> in this quirky take on an audio round, Luke has recorded himself singing in the shower a whole new collection of songs. In each clip, he'll be singing a different Eurovision song. It's your job to tell us the name of the song and the name of the artist. You get a point for them both separately. Uh, both of you will get three different audio clips each. The person who's got the most points after all of it wins 10 seconds for the end game. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Sounds good. So the question is, Matt, do you want to go first or do you want to go second? I'll, I'll go second. You'll go second. You want Rob yeah. to do it first. Home in the deep end. Great. Let's see, let's see how he does. Rob, this is your first song. Now, there have been some real shockers over the course of these recordings, but I don't think that one was too bad. I think that was pretty terrible. I don't know if you agree, Matt. I thought that was pretty awful. Although, thankfully, what's happened there is, once again, uh, we've got the song title in the song, which is one of my favourite things that Eurovision songs often do. 
Yeah. So confidently for the, is it two points on offer? One it's for the two song? points on offer, one for the song, one for the artist. So the song is Germany 2009, Miss Kiss Kiss Bang. Yes. And the artist, and I always get these two the wrong way around. I think it's, oh, I think it's Alex Swings and Oscar Sings. Yes, correct. Well done, Rob. That's two points. That's a good start. Good start. We, uh, we're we starting as we mean to go on this week. Great. So do you want your second song? Yes, please. Here it is. Tell me why we have to say goodbye. Was our love only a foolish lie? Tell me why. Eyes are cold and dry No more tears No more fears Nothing more to share together. Oh, Lou those notes you hit. Those notes. Can well, we call them no, no, no. notes? Yeah, Can I we mean, call also, them notes? <laughs> let's also just say, I didn't hit that anything. <laughs> like, no notes were hit in that. <laughs> Rob? Yeah, I know the song. But it's one of those where you can, I can picture it, I can see it on the stage, but can I remember who sang it and what the song title was? I'm going to say the song was called Tell Me Why. Yes. Oh, I have a feeling that this is potentially from Matt's favourite contest of 2006 as well. Maybe, no, I might be wrong. It's around that era, I think, maybe. Uh, This is just me stalling because I can't think of the artist. Well, you've got you've got the song, so Tell that should lead to something. Why? Na, 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 na. Oh, I'm gonna have to pass. You're passing the song, so that's one point there, Matt. Do you know it? I think it was it was Finland 2005, wasn't it? I can't picture his name. Any guess? Um, any guess? This is for no points, uh, though. Don't 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 stress about it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know the art. I know it's 2005 Finland, but I don't know. Cool. It was Monica Angel and Marcel Pavel. I don't oh, know if that's how you say it, but I've rhymed them. <laughs> I think if you say it confidently, as as with anything in Eurovision, especially with some of those no- name pronunciations, you say it confidently, you'll get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> but you get one point there because you got the track right, Rob. Okay, I'll take that. Three points. So you're currently from, on three with two, two songs. Yeah, I'll take that. Rob, are you ready for your third and final song? Ready. Another two points on the way. Mm-mm, yeah, I'm talking to you through my heart. Talking to you, girl Just tell me where to start I wanna get through Right away Wanna get through now Can't wait another day Rob, any ideas? I thought that maybe the last line had helped me out there, but other than that, I have absolutely no idea. No idea whatsoever. No idea whatsoever. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm I'm gonna pass the artist definitely. I'm I'm gonna say that the song was called, and I don't think it was, but purely because uh, Luke said it quite a lot. Uh, I'm gonna say that the song was called "I'm Talking to You." I'll give you that. It was "Talking to You" by Jacobs Festrup, and that was a Danish entry in 2005. Of course, it was. Oh well, I'll take that four points from my uh, from my three clips. Very, very pleased. That is that. That's a good round for you. Well, well done. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you very much. I didn't quite enjoy the damning with faint praise from Tom. There, that was a backhanded compliment, if ever I've heard one. That, that was a good round for you. <laughs> what I mean is, I I can't think of a, of a time that you've done Luke in the shower. I don't know whether that's the phrase I should be using. Uh, I mean, that's news to me. Like, <laughs> I, I think it's probably best if you just move on to Matt's clips, to be honest. Matt, are you ready for the first one? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I'm playback. I'm playback. I'm playback. Luke, is that the first time you've sung in a foreign language so far? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, what the listeners don't know is you are quite a multilingual man, mm. but you wouldn't know it from that clip. I don't know. I was going to say, I think he did better with that song than he does with English entries. Also, mm. now, Matt, this is tricky for you. I mean, I'm obviously delighted that it's difficult for you, but that was a very short clip. It was. I've got, I've got a rough idea. 
Got a rough idea. Do you want to hear it again? Maybe that'll help. Hold on a second. How come we're replaying clips? Well, you you, you mentioned yourself that this is a short clip. Fine, whatever. I'm playback. I'm playback. I'm playback. (laughs) That was a sigh. That was indeed. Have you got any idea, Matt? Um... I got, it's a rough guess, but I think it's Party for Everybody by Bruce Sky by Bushki. No, it is not. Neither um, of those. Can I guess? <laughs> yes, of course you can, Rob. Yeah. Was it Spain 2006? Was it Last Ketchup? No, it wasn't Last Ketchup. <sighs> it was Carlos Pio with M Playback. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hear it now. I hear it now. Rob has got absolutely no idea. What is that song? <laughs> so it came It came like second last of nine points in 1981. Oh, my goodness, Matt. Oh my that God. is knowledge. <laughs> that is yeah. good knowledge. Well done, Matt. On today, on today we're like, like you're, you're a taste of these, of all those like colours of suits. And it, it was like... It's coming, back to dancing. it's coming back to me now. It's coming back to me now. Not that I was around in 1981, but it's coming back to me now. <laughs> <laughs> it was so cheesy. Like, and I had to play back. Do, 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 play back. <laughs> I would rather have you singing it in the shower than Luke on that rendition anyway. Aww, I love you too, Rob. <laughs> and I would say, even, even though you came up with a lot of knowledge at the end, Matt, unfortunately you didn't get the points. Not to rub it in. <laughs> Are you ready for your next song? Hopefully, yes. Here it is. And I made the mess in your vision And I see a debt to be paid To give a little love was all I wanted Give a little love was all my intent And I was playing with numbers And I didn't know what it meant Oh, God <laughs> <laughs> what a what a fantastic review of your own singing voice. Yeah, I do. I'm so sorry, Matt, that we're putting you through this. I do like Luke cringing at himself I, I every like time. It. I think it is. Oh, oh, that's kind. You two, you two get a little bromance going on throughout yeah. this episode. You never know. You never know. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> is Matt trying to earn some points from Luke? That's why I'm at. <laughs> well, he's got them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure you're in, a, you're in a position to do that, Luke. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, unfortunately. Uh, do you have any ideas, Matt? I, I do, actually. Oh, great. Um, Ireland 2015, Molly Sterling playing with numbers. Yes, it was. Molly Sterling and Greg French were playing with numbers. We'll give you both points for that. That's two points. Well done. Still need to get uh, still need to get both points in the final one to so, uh, try and equalise, though, don't you, Matt? Oh, so smart. I know. It's very possible, Matt. Don't let him don't let him put you down. It is very, very possible. Just trying to apply a little bit of pressure, that's all. Are you ready for your third one? Ready. Great. Here it is. I am I'm late. I'm losing my weight. Because I want to dance all night. Because I want to stay all night in the disco. Rob, 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 why are you pulling faces? What, what is all that about? Do you want to make it any easier for Matt or do you want to give him a difficult one? It is the look of the draw. You've definitely had ones before. You've got points. You've also, yeah, you've also got four points. Yeah, <laughs> Matt, what do you think? Oh, it was, it was quite a short one, wasn't it? It was quite a short one. It, it was in my tongue. It's like, da 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 Because <sighs> I want to be... Another great rendition. It is, it is. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm going to keep myself. I'm going to keep myself. I don't know what it is. <sighs> have a guess. Go on. Can I have a clue? No, th- I'll that, have a clue. That no. Not that sort of podcast. I will, I'll, I'll let you listen to it again because it was another short one. Yeah, That's yes, the only please. clue you're getting. Cheeky, cheeky. I am, I'm late. I'm losing my weight because I want to dance all night. Because I want to stay all night. In the disco. Got it. Knew you shouldn't have played it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what are you thinking? Okay, it's uh, Bosnia 2004, Dean in the disco. It is. Yes. Both points. You have both got four points. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done, Matt. Well done. Thank you. That was a truly good battle. 
I think you've both got good leverage for the rest of the show. I think so. I think we've set our stalls out. We're kind of, you know, assessing each other. But I'm all right in thinking that now means that we may as well just not have bothered with that round because neither of us gets the 10 seconds. No, uh, in the opposite, actually. Oh. You both get an extra 10 seconds. It turns into 70 seconds each. Delighted with that. Yes. So don't worry about that. We've never approached this situation before, Matt. So congratulations at that. High five over the phone. High, high five. five. <laughs> <laughs> Round two is the War of Words. Oh, yes. This is a brand new round not heard before on a Eurovision Games, the War of Words. Yeah, now I've heard rumour of this. I, I don't really know what it involves, but I'm a little bit nervous. There's no need to be nervous. I think it's a really good round, but I would say that I created it. <laughs> <laughs> so in this game, Luke will say a word. For example, happy. Both of you must then bet how many Eurovision final songs you can name that has that specific word in the title. So if Rob said he could name two, and Matt, you said you could only name one, it would be passed to Rob to prove that he can name two. If he, yeah, got, okay. if he got both of those two correct, he would win the point. But if he got them incorrect, then you would get the point. Does that make sense? Perfect sense. There, there are quite a few rules to, the, to this game that I'll run through quite quickly. We'll be giving you English words and we only want English titles. It can't be a translation uh, of that word. Okay. We uh, don't need artist names. You just need to give us the song title. Uh, we also only accept words where the word is obviously part of the title. For instance, if we gave you the word ice, we'd accept icebreaker, but we wouldn't accept bad choice. Got you. Even right. though ice is theoretically in that. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. It You'll get, you'll get the hang of it. It's a really fun game. Let's get started. So we play this game five times and the person with the most points at the end of the game wins. So this isn't a battle. You're both playing in each game to kind of see yeah. which you want to bet. All get makes it? sense. All makes sense. Great. So your first word is body. Oh, oh my God. Matt, we'll start with you. What do you want to bet? on the word body. And these can um, only be final songs as well, just so you know. Only final ones? Yeah. Um, one. It's like, it's like, I'm trying to remember them, but I can't, it's like, I'm throwing a blank on body. So you're struggling to think, but have you got one in your head? You you do know you can get that one. Um, no. <laughs> oh, well, we'll go to Rob. Rob, how many do you think you can get? I mean, I really want to confidently say, oh, about 15. <laughs> <laughs> Admittedly, I only, need to, I only need to say two, don't I? But I... <laughs> Can you get two is the question. Are you going to you bet that? Remember, if you, if you pass it over to Matt and he has to name that one and he gets it wrong, you get the point. I am going to say... I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to bet two. I'm going to bet two. Oh, okay. Confidence. Yeah, not really. What? I'm, I'm confident with one and then I'm going to have to try and pull another one from somewhere. Okay. Matt, do you want to raise Rob or do you want to call him? <laughs> call him. Oh, great. So Rob, you've got to name two songs that has the word body in them. Right. So I'm going to go for the first one, which I think technically is allowed. It might not be, and you might tell me I'm wrong, and uh, Matt might be getting a very early point. Uh, my first one, I'm going to go for uh, Russia 2012, which was Party for Everybody. That is correct. Oh. So you need to name, name another one to get that point. And herein lies the problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are so many that, I mean, we've had over, a, over one and a half thousand songs. <laughs> <laughs> in the history of Eurovision, so you would like to think there'll be another one with with body in it, and there clearly is, because otherwise you wouldn't have come up with the word. Yeah, I can tell you there are four songs with the word body in them. That's not as many as I would have right. thought, so that's quite Ob tricky. Obviously an English word body. I'm going to say there was a song called, I'm just going to make up a song title now and hope it was a song title. <laughs> that's risky, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to say there was a song called Love My Body. <laughs> No, there was not. You could have had Nobody But You by Cesar Sampson. Oh. Uh, you could have had Nobody Hurt No One yeah. by Natalia Podoscala. Oh. Good one. Uh, and you could have had Everybody. That would have been a good guess. That was Estonia in 2001. I just thought of that one. <laughs> oh, well, well done, Matt. I mean, you've got the point there and you uh, didn't even have to say anything. So that's gone well. So that is a point to Matt. Well done. 
Are you ready for your second word? Well, seeing as that one went so successfully, yes. <laughs> Matt, Matt's so happy he didn't have to do anything. Are you going to use the same strategy, Matt? <laughs> it depends how many I think of. <laughs> right, your second word is fire. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Oh no! It's 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 difficult, isn't it? There are so many. Um, yeah, there are. But but then when it comes to trying to name them, you're like, oh, that's more difficult. Um, is that, it's only the English ones, not not the Spanish for. It's, yeah, it's only the English ones. Sorry. What you're saying, Matt, there is exactly what I was thinking at the same time, which is, are we allowed to say Fuego, Tom? And quite clearly, we're not. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to say Fuego. So, Rob, I'll get you to start this time. How many do you think you can name? Uh, give us a break, Tom. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say I'm going to I'm going to do a mat from the last round. I'm going to say one. Okay, oh. so Rob's got Rob's ste- playing safe with one. Matt, are you raising him? I mean, oh. you kind of have to. I've got I've got I've got one in the bag. I'm thinking of another one. So I'm pluck one out. Two. Two. Okay. Matt's playing r- risky this time. Rob, do you want to raise Matt or are I, you going to let him play? I definitely don't want to raise Matt. Matt, you're all good. <laughs> so, Matt, you know what that means? Oh, I want no. to start hearing some songs with fire in them, please. There's, there's Start of Fire. There is. That was Azerbaijan in 2014. Uh, how many songs have the word fire in them? Four. Oh, it's a tricky it's one. It's a tricky one. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Hudson Glove One. I'm going to need to push you, Matt. Um, fire starter. No, no, oh. unfortunately not. You could have had Touch My Fire by Javine. Oh, oh for no. goodness oh. sake. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, Touch My Fire. How dare I forget that one? <laughs> Luke, what was the Israel entry? The Fire in Your Eyes by Boaz. Oh, no. No, that's not my favourite song. <laughs> and you could have had Playing With Fire by Paula Celine, Romania Playing 2010. Oh, forget. I mean, Matt, you like me are exactly the same. I mean, it's not as if we haven't heard of any of those songs, is it? <laughs> I just love that. When you're under pressure, you blank. I just love that you listed Firestarter as in the Prodigy (laughs) song. (laughs) I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Starter Fire, Starter (laughs) Fire, Fire Firestarter. Yeah. Prodigy. It it was a good guess. It was. I thought that was a good guess, but that does mean, Rob, you get the point there. This is the tactic. It's quite clear that if you just um, try and put it on the other person, throw all the pressure their way, it kind of pays off. Well, we'll see. We'll see how you do with the next one. The next word is eyes. Matt, let's start with you. How many song titles do you think you can name with the word eyes? One. One. Okay. Rob, do you think you can raise that? I'm going to have to raise it. I'm going to say two. But like Matt, I've definitely got one. Um, but yeah, the second one, once again, is going to be a bit of a guess, I think. Okay. Matt, do you want to raise him or you want to call him? I'm thinking if there's another one with eyes in it, call. Cool. Ready to go? I can tell you, Rob, there are two songs with the word eyes in them. I think, I think I've just got them both. Okay. I I think I have. Okay. I want to know. Now, wasn't wasn't one of Ireland's winners called In Your Eyes? Yes, it was. That was Neve Kavanagh. It was. Now... That was 1993. And then I think the other one was an Israeli song called Fire In Your Eyes. <laughs> yes, it yes! was! That is good going. So, Rob, you've earned that point yourself. Helpfully. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if either of you clocked it, but we literally said the fire in your eyes for the fire one as well. Oh, we did. We did. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. I didn't clock it. <laughs> That's why, I mean, this one, like you guys had a bit of an advantage. Oh. Well, Matt clearly didn't take it. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said two. I've got, I, I, need, I need a two. Yeah, yeah. But don't worry, you can still pull it back. There are still yeah. uh, two more words. Here's your next one. The word is Heart. Oh. And it's only final songs, isn't it? It is only final songs. I can tell you there's a lot more songs with the word heart in it. Rob, I'll get you to bet first. How many songs do you think you can name? I'm going to go four. Four? Oh. oh, I like I like that. Matt, can you raise him on four? Again, it's the whole struggling to think of songs with heart in it. That is um, the game. 
<laughs> um, he, he knows four, doesn't he? I know he knows four. Rob, are you confident? Or do you not want to give away, maybe? I, I would can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, all right. I'm going to look like an absolute fool here. Five. Five. Ooh. Oh, you've called it. All right, okay. I am absolutely <laughs> relieved. Well done, Matt. Rob, did you know four? I did not know four. So, no. I think I think this is a stupid question, but do you want to raise Matt or call him? I'll call him. Ah, oh, Matt, it's all in your hands. Oh, no. No. A uh, heartbeat. Yes, there is. Um, oh, oh, it's not. That, uh, you've got uh, one. We, we do need another one next. <laughs> <laughs> you've got... I know. I'm, I'm thinking... You've got four more songs to go. <laughs> Um, heart to heart. I cannot see any song called Heart to Heart. Oh. No, so you're you're out, Matt. That point goes to that, Rob. That that was the that was the group from Iceland ninety two Heart to Heart. Oh, it was a group, not an, oh, not a song title. See, man, that's where you've let yourself down. No, I had one more, which I know is a definite one, which was Azerbaijan from a few years ago. They did Cross My Heart, which was just X My, my heart, heart, wasn't it, I think? I think that, didn't that, that didn't get to the final. Oh, So thank, well, that would have been out as well, Rob. Thank goodness I didn't make it through. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that point does go to Rob, which makes it 3-1 at the minute, Matt. I can, I can say that Rob has won this round, but we'll play the next no. one for Pride anyway hopefully i'm clawing back hopefully hopefully your next word is world well matt how many yeah. do you think you can name um oh my god a one one playing it safe okay rob are you gonna raise him i've definitely got one uh so i'll say two okay matt back to you are you raising oh, it three three oh, three. oh, oh. i like it uh, no, Matt, you can do that. That's cool. You're all good. <laughs> give, give, give us three. Um, there's, we've got the world tonight. We've got the world by Mickey Hart, Island, 2003. Uh, heal the world. We've not got heal the world. We have not got heal oh, the world. That was back in 1957. Heal the world. Was it in English? Oh, no, it's in Dutch. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be why. We wouldn't have given you that anyway, so the point would have gone to Rob. I know, I know. So it's 4-1 to Rob in that round, which means you get the 10 seconds, Rob. Very, very pleased. I have one more. I'm just getting cocky now. There was an island song called, I think, If the World Stopped Turning as well. Is that um, right? Yeah, if the um, turning, it's, yeah. not, it's not too far off. It's If My World Stopped Turning. Oh, well, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. We don't need the point anyway, Luke. We're yeah. fine. You're all good. So do we uh, like that round? Is that a good new round? Oh, we like that round, although I think you'll agree, Matt. It's a hard round. You, you, you just, you just blank. <laughs> See, that's the problem Rob's been having for most of this series on every <laughs> round, I would suggest. <laughs> yeah, I think at least once every episode, I find myself going, it's just hard when you're asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But don't worry. Remember, you've still got an extra 10 seconds in the end game, Matt. Rob has now sure. got an extra 20 seconds in the end game. Are you ready for round three, though? Yes? Yes. No, never say yes. Let's do it. Round three, boys, is higher or lower? Oh. oh yes, we're back to high or lower. Okay. We've not we've not heard it since episode two. In this game, oh, oh. you'll be given a starting song. For example, Adio by Nez. You must simply answer whether you think the next song in the lineup received a higher amount of total points or a lower amount of total points in their respective Eurovision song contests. They won't necessarily oh. be from the same year. Now, okay. each contestant is going to be given 10 songs and you get a point for correctly answering higher or lower. There's no time limit. I've got rid of the time limit. You get 10 songs each, and it's higher or lower from the previous song you've heard, not from the starting song. Does that all make yeah. sense? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Matt, do you want to go first, or do you want to go second? Well, I'm giving you some good, good points. Facts there. So I'm, I'm going to go first. You're going to go first. Me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, Matt, you seem to be all across, like you just said there, you're all across the stats. I think you're going to do well in this one. Fingers crossed. So, Luke, what is Matt's starting song? Your starting song is Diva by Dana International. And how yeah. many points did that get? Let's see if Matt can do it. Oh, okay. That, that, this isn't part of the game, but Matt? I, I know the margin was seven points between um, Dana and Imani, 
147. Um, it's close, fairly, <gasps> but it was 172. <laughs> uh, within 30. -ish. Yeah, not too far away. 172, yeah. that's your starting song. So you're going to yeah. get nine more songs. Are you ready for your yeah. next one? Go for it. Seventh Wonder by Ira Losco. That is definitely lower. It is. That was 164 points. Luke, next song. What If We by Kiara. Definitely lower. About 33. 31. Oh, that was a good guess. Oh. Good. Yeah, not too far <laughs> off. Next song is Love Will Set You Free by Engelbert Humperdinck. Lower, 12 points. 12 points exactly. Well done. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Getting cocky now. <laughs> yeah. Next song is Together We Are One by Eddie Butler. Um, lower and four points. Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Without your love by Gary O'Shaughnessy. Oh, it's it's like one. It's like it's definitely. Oh, did the UK give him more than four? That's the problem. Did they? Did they? Oh, I'd... time's ticking, well, Matt. Uh, no, no time limit. <laughs> <laughs> no, He's trying to suck I'd you say... out. I'd say I'd say higher. I'd say six points for Nikki. Exactly oh right. Wow. <laughs> Give me your love by Fame. That is definitely definitely higher. I think fifth. I'd say it was. I'd say uh, ninety two. You got it right that it was higher, but it was a hundred and seven. Hundred and seven. I, I was close. Yeah, yeah, not bad. Yeah. I'm I'm very I'm sat here very impressed. Yeah. Thank you. Visionary Dream by Sofo. So is it higher or lower than fame? Um, definitely lower. She came 12th, I'd say, with 63. No, 97. 97. You got it right that they were lower. I'd just like to reiterate that when it's my turn, you won't be getting any of this extra information. <laughs> <laughs> we're astounded, Matt. We're astounded. Um, it's very impressive. Yeah. Uh, Secret Combination by Calamira. Definitely higher, 232. 218. 18. Okay, now forgive my pronunciation on this next one. La Lisa Cosse by Jane Bogart. Um, it's in 2000, it was 20th, so way lower to 28. It was lower, it got 14 points. 14. Yeah, so you got, you got all of them right. You got nine. You got nine. Well done. Mic drop. <laughs> that, is, that is a proper mic drop. So all I can do here is is level things up. That's that's the best I can do. You can you can both get an extra ten seconds again. Yes. Okay. You said you thanks, Matt. You've set a high bar. A very high bar. We're we're all sat here kind of speechless, Matt, because that was <laughs> genuinely incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Right, I'm ready. Rob, your starting song is this. Endaba. By Tao Sondak. And do you want to take a guess at how many points that got? Given or... given that I have literally no idea what song you're talking about, probably not, no. You got 25 points. Okay. Ready for your next one? Ready. Here you go. The Worrying Kind by The Ark. Uh, so that was Sweden 2007, and that is definitely higher. 51 points. <laughs> <laughs> nice little clap from Matt there. <laughs> Teenage no. Life by Daz Samson. Oh, that is definitely... Given that it was a song from the UK in the mid noughties lower. It was 25 points. Dada Dam by Paradise Oscar. He opened up in 2011, I think. Uh, higher. 57 points. Solo by Al Su. That did really, really well. I think that came second in 2000, so definitely higher. 155 points. You're doing well. Doing well. When You Need Me by The Mullins. Lower. 18. You shouldn't have been so hesitant. It came quite low. Okay. Next one. Cry Baby by Gemini. Definitely lower. As low as we can go. Yeah. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> for, for Life by Isis Gee. Oh, was it, was it potentially higher? It couldn't be much lower. <laughs> <laughs> so that was 14 points. Dime. Beth. Uh, Beth with Dime, yeah. Um, higher. 81 points. Runaway by Salen. Ooh. Higher or lower than 81? Ooh. I'm going to go, and this is a guess. I was confident on all the others, but this is definitely a guess. I'm going to go lower. No! Uh, that was 111. 
seven points. Uh, that was your only mistake, Rob. If you'd have got that right, you could have matched it up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, that means you've won this round. Well done. Woo. So that means um, you've both got an equal amount of time. 80 seconds each. Ooh. 80 seconds each. How are you feeling? Oh, it depends on the question. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's tough. It's it's nerve wracking. Having been through it before, Matt, I can tell you that your life will flash before your eyes, but you'll be okay. You'll come out the other end of it. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's go into it. Let's not waste any time. Let's go to the end game. Cool. So you both know how this works. You know you've got eighty seconds. This is just a general <laughs> trivia round, all about Eurovision. I'm happy, I'm confident, things are going to be fine. In the last episode I showed I don't need 80 seconds, I only needed 60 last time, so 80 seconds. Oh. Might, have a cup, might stop for a cup of tea halfway through. Oh yeah, I'm oh, sure, yeah, I'm okay. sure. Matt, what are you thinking? Uh, 80 seconds is, is, really, is a really good time. Uh, what, what was the average everyone got? It depends how quick we're reading the questions. Mm. So basically, if you lose, Matt, you can just blame those two. Uh, I've, I've won the round. I'm happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, let's see how it goes. We're really rooting for you. We want you to beat Rob. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We've got everything crossed in the studio. Uh, your everything. time. Every, everything. <laughs> I'm slightly concerned being in the same studio as them, Matt. But uh, anyway, the less said about that, the better. <laughs> <laughs> your time will start when Luke reads the first question. Good luck, Matt. Good luck. Linda Martin won for Ireland in 1992. In which year did she finish in second place? 1984. Correct. What name is given to the piece of classical music often cited as the unofficial theme tune of Eurovision? Name. Yes, it is. In 2015, two countries scored no points. Germany was one. What was the other? Austria. It was. How many years were countries obliged to submit two songs instead of just one? 1956. Yep, once. What number did Sarah McTernan sing about, sing about for Ireland? In, oh, yes. He, he, I didn't finish the question. <laughs> Corrie Brocken won the contest in 1957, but in which year did she host the contest? Not, uh, 1958. No, it was 1976. What is the name okay. of the song performed by Dalal and Dean for Bosnia in 2016? Uh... Yes, it is. Cesar Samson, who represented Austria in 2018, was a backing singer for which country in 2016 and 2017? Or oh, um, Germany, pass. No, it was Bulgaria. Which country okay. hosted a national selection in 2018 and 2019 called Destination Eurovision? France. It was. Who did Valentina Manetta sing a duet with for San Marino in 2017? Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Anderson. No, it was Jimmy Wilson and your time is up. That oh. was incredible. That was seven points, Matt. That is a good Ooh. score. Thank you. You were really, really going for it as well. Yeah, you were pacey, Matt. You you got the tactics right. You were like bang, bang, bang. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Are you are you Thank happy you. with that score? You don't you don't sound over the moon. I, I, I'm pretty pleased with that. You Jimmy, should be, got... Rob. That'll that'll give you a challenge, won't it? Oh, very much so. Yeah, and I wasn't nervous, but now very much so. Are you ready? Yes. The time starts when Luke reads the first question. Which actress known for her appearances on EastEnders represented the UK in 1991? Pass. It was Samantha Janis, Samantha Womack. Sakis Ruvas represented Greece in 2004 and 2009, but in which year did he host the contest? 2006. It was. Which city holds the record for hosting the contest on the most occasions? London. No, it was Dublin. What links you decide your country needs you and making your mind up? UK national selection shows. They are. In what year was the current voting system introduced whereby the public and 2016. Our own? It was 2016. A member of which British rock band was beaten by Scooch to represent the United Kingdom in 2007? Darkness. It was the darkness. In which city did the contest take place inside the Altis Arena? The Altis Arena was in Lisbon. Correct. Which song that failed to qualify in 2011 was the first to feature the Swahili language? Haba Haba. It was. Who was the conductor for Ireland on 24 Pass. occasions? Oh. It was Noel Callaghan. How many times had Ukraine partic participated in Eurovision before winning for the first time in 2004? Once. Correct. Name two of the three credited artists on Estonia's winning entry from 2001. Dave Benton, Tanel Padar, and 2XL. Oh, you only get one point, but correct. What was the name of the song that won for Turkey in 2003? It was... Uh, oh my... I mean, it's a really obvious answer. Why? I've had a complete mind blank, but I don't think it matters. No, it was every way that I can. Of course it was. Rob, well done. Matt, 
Do you think Rob's beating you? I'll, I'll leave you both a bit tense. Do you think Rob's beating you or do you not? I don't know. It's close, I think. So, Matt, you got seven points. <laughs> Rob? Yeah. You got eight yeah! points. Oh. Oh. You both played an astounding round. Well done. I got well eight done. points despite the fact that I've got my Eurovision fan accreditation removed from completely forgetting Turkey's winning <laughs> entry from 2003. I know that, I can. that is fine. Matt, you put on a great, great battle though. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel good that I pushed it really, really close. Yeah, you, I was I was very nervous, like I said, getting into that end game, Matt. So I'm I'm surprised that I managed to do it, but no, you did really, really well. Yeah, you did really uh, well. It was it was really down to the wire on that one, wasn't it? It really was. Yeah, there wasn't it all that. It came left. down to those last yeah. couple of questions, Matt. I think you can go home though with your head held high. I think you should go home with a lot of pride because you have you have shown your Eurovision knowledge. You you have shown you're a Eurovision super fan. I really pushed Rob, didn't I? You did push him, and you were given extra knowledge where you didn't need to give extra knowledge. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, we really weren't yeah. expecting you to be a Eurovision encyclopedia. Like very impressive. <laughs> very very impressive. Thank you, Matt. Have you enjoyed your time in the Eurovision Games? Uh I, I really have. Yeah, thank you so much for hosting me. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Thank you for joining us and we'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Rob, well done. Absolutely delighted. He put on a good show, didn't he? He put on a great show, but you were really on form today. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe, I don't know, had a good night's sleep. I've, I've come in, <laughs> I've come in ready. I'm in the right headspace. I was, I was quite bang, bang, bang in that final round. And that's you just, were. But for anyone listening who wants to, who wants to win that end game, that's the way you've got to be. You've just got to be quick. Again, as we mentioned at the start, it's, it's all in those passes as well, I think. I think so. If I you think, don't know it, just throw it away. I think if you hadn't have passed on one or two in the end game, I don't think we'd have had time to get to the correct ones. Yeah, I think you're right. Mm. But the, the important thing now, Tom, how's that leaderboard looking? That leaderboard is looking good for you. It is currently 3-2 to Rob. And we really don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, whoever comes on in the next episode, will they manage to beat you? They're going to have to. It's, it's going to be tight. I didn't realise how tight this series was going to be. We're kind of on level. No one stormed ahead, whether it's the super fans or you. I've had some good episodes. I've had some bad episodes. So could go either way. It could. Thing is, though, we've still got two more to go in this series. So, you know, there's all to play for, really. It is all to play for. It might all come down to that final episode. We will see. Oh, tense. Tense. Yeah. So make sure you tune in next time and make sure that you're connecting with us on all the socials. We are at Euroquision on Twitter or we are the Euroquision Games on Instagram and Facebook. We want to hear from you. We want to hear what you like, what games you like. We want you to get in touch. But join us in two weeks time for the next episode to see whether Rob will storm ahead on that leaderboard even further. Thank you for joining us. See you later. Bye.